customers can pay you for outstanding sales amounts in a variety of different ways. Spire provides user-defined payment methods for tracking and accounting for different payment types, for use in either accounts receivable or sales order payments. To access the list of payment methods, from the Edit top menu, choose Payment Methods. You can have as many records as you need, depending on how many payment types you accept from customers. For each payment method record, you must assign a unique code and enter the description that you want to display in transactions. Choose the type of payment, either cash, check, credit, debit, or other. You can have multiple method records that use the same type if required, such as for different credit cards. The general ledger account number is entered here, typically a clearing account that will later have a journal entry created to add the amount to your bank account. Enable the display payment option if this method is active and available for selection, with a sequence number to set the sort order where methods are selected. You may want to set a unique keyboard shortcut for the most commonly used payment methods, and an icon logo for visual appeal or to make it easier to select the desired method in payment entry. For methods that use a credit type, you can enable integration if your company uses credit card processing integration with Spire, opening up additional functionality when customers pay using this method. Indicate whether this integration is through a credit card processor or an external terminal. When editing a sales order to either create an invoice with a payment or apply a deposit to the order, the payment screen looks the same. At the left side of the screen, click the icon or text representing the desired payment method from all those marked as displayed. If you have many, you might have to resize the window height to show all the icons, or select from the double arrow dropdown for those not shown. Depending on the method you pick, different information is available to be entered. For checks, you just have the check number and amount. By default, the amount is equal to the invoice balance due, but partial payments are allowed by changing the amount. When saving this, or any payment, it will be listed in this area. For cash payments, if the balance due isn't evenly divisible by 5 cents, the payment amount is rounded to the nearest 5 cents. And you can enter a tendered amount larger than the balance due, with calculated change for the difference, or a smaller amount as a partial payment. For non-integrated credit and debit cards, only an authorization mode for tracking and the payment amount are displayed. For integrated credit cards, much more information is available to provide to the processor for secure payments, either for a card already saved on the customer record or for a new card. For other payment methods, you can enter the amount and some reference such as a coupon code or other identification, or even a reason for a credit or discount or write-off value if the accounting for this method is set up that way. When an invoice is processed for this order, you can view the invoice in sales history to see the first payment method applied, displayed above the invoice amount, if a payment was included as part of the invoice posting procedure. When entering customer payments in accounts receivable, whether invoices are being paid or a deposit or prepayment is registered, the payment method can be found here. This is generally for information only, though if integrated credit card processing is assigned, it will be initiated when posting, either for a new card or one already configured for the customer. You can enter a reference for a check number or authorization for other types. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.